Okay, here are the instructions on how to set up your RD8200SG um, to send all the information over to your collection app. So first, uh, you want to open up your Bluetooth on your phone for pairing mode. And so I'm holding down on the B icon under my Bluetooth from scrolling down from the top there. And what you're gonna see, uh, with, and make sure your locator's on, but what you're gonna see is your serial number of your locator come up here. And the first thing you wanna pair is the RTK antenna. And so that's this guy right here. I'm gonna just click on that and decode. It's very secret, so don't share this with anybody, but it's one, two, three, four. And then hit okay. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's amazing. I've got the same combination on my luggage. <laughs> And after that's done pairing, we then have to pair up the actual Bluetooth from the device itself, uh, so all the locate data goes into an attribute. And so I look for that other um, same serial number. I'm just going to first, though, activate that Bluetooth pairing. The other one's always active, so on this receiver, you just hit the on-off key real quick, scroll up, or down, doesn't matter which way you go, but what you're looking for is SM log. And so when you see SM log show up, I should have went the other way, taken the long way around. Um, so SM log, hit the right button or your antenna key, go to pair, and once you're in pair, hit the F key or your left arrow and the B will start flashing on the screen and then go ahead and scan for that on your phone or tablet, whatever you're using, and there it is right there. So I'm gonna click on it. And again, you know the code, but don't share it with anybody. Whoops, typed it in wrong. One, two, three, four. And this one's gonna take a second, and there it's showing up in our paired devices now, and then eventually it will say okay on here. Give it a second, there we go. And we can go ahead and close that Bluetooth now and go back to our regular screen. And so I'm going to start my app and open up a map. This is subsurface maps and I'm going to go to my GPS setup. And so I'm going to GPS status on here and I'm going to tell it to use the, this device's GPS, that RTK right there. And then once that's going, you can see I've already got about two foot accuracy, um, but it's going to get better. So um, we're going to basically tie into uh, uh, an Intrip client, and I already have one loaded up. But to do that, you hit the setup key, and I have the Iowa DOTs one on here. And I'm going to, uh, you'll need to go ahead and subscribe to this. There's, there's a lot of free ones out there, or you can actually pay, have a subscription service to one um, that's nationwide. Uh, but you need to know what the IP address is, the port number, your username, your password. Um, I got mine, I'm going to blur it out here so you don't see it. But then after you get all that tied in, you can go ahead and select your mount point. So it should, um, if, as long as your password and everything's correct, it should go ahead and give you a list of mount points. And what you're looking for is um, probably one up towards the top. You need to investigate or do some reading up on what's the best. I'm just going to go to RTC, RTCM3 Max. This is the language that it's sending over the info on. And um, if you got everything set correctly, you can go ahead and hit start. And you're going to see your kilobytes start counting up here. You can see if you're getting kilobytes coming across, that means it's receiving data. My light on the locator, or on the GPS part of it, is starting to flash. And then when it goes solid, when it's flashing, it's in float mode. When it goes solid, it means you have an RTK fix. And if you look down here, let me close the GPS screen. You look down here, you can uh, see it's 0 .03 foot. Um, we lost it just for a second. I'm right next to a building, so you can see, uh, let me walk out here just a little ways. and. Uh, if you're getting a 0 .04, 0 .03, you know you got good RTK fix and you should be able to uh, start mapping. But in order to start mapping, we also have to make sure the locator's talking. It's going to send out all, all the data. And so I go to draw mode, go to GPS trace, and choose the two layers you want to throw your depth points. I'm just going to go to depth points here, 
there we go and go and then your line layer depending on what you're locating let's just say we're locating a power line and then I'm gonna test this out by hitting the uh, the settings button there and under settings you want to make sure you have the correct receiver selected and it says waiting for connection so we're gonna test it before we get started by hitting the survey button and that's the button you hit when you're happy with your location it should say um, waiting for connection and then when it receives all the data you'll get all this comma separated text showing up so we're good to go I'm gonna go ahead and close that screen let's get over the top of a power line over here and you'll see what happens here so once I'm over the line I'm happy with my location I got a depth reading showing up here and I want to save that point I hit the survey button it's going to save it there it comes across the straight inches 41 inches and along with the frequency you're using the current and all that we're just in power mode right now but if you're using a frequency all that would be filled out and then here you can go ahead and add your other description types and field drop down menus select your things and then um, we can hit add on here to add that first point or you can just go to your next one and go ahead and hit the button again and that first one will disappear it will be saved automatically and another one will pop up and there we go 42 inches and just keep on going when you get to your last one hit add on the last one and then hit stop done and you're going to see the uh, the line is now drawn on the map and it's that simple but if you're not getting the right communications to happen if something's not um, being sent over to the phone it's probably because you may be in the wrong protocol when radio detection sends these locators out um, they're sent up uh, they're, they're sent out with the PPP protocol as the language type so if, um, you'll want to hit the on off key to go back into that menu and go back to that SM log let me go back the other way now and then once you're in SM log scroll up or down and go to protocol go into it and make sure you're on ASCII 2 and then there's several different ASCII's so there's ASCII 1, ASCII 2, ASCII 3 just make sure you're on 2 so I just kept hitting the right button and go into 2 and then you can scroll back but you also want to make sure that your um, your communications is on so scroll down or up until you see COM and make sure that's on the on position that means the Bluetooth is on and it's it's active so check those two things if it's not working but other than that if you got any questions feel free to give us a holler or send us an email and we'll figure out what, what's going on